it's Friday, February 16th of 2024, and today I'm here at this beautiful railway station in New York. No, wait, it's a subway station called Coney Island Stillwell Avenue. Coney Island Stillwell Avenue Station is at the very bottom of the subway map and is the terminus of four different services that each run on their own lines. We have the D on the West End Line, the F on the Culver Line, the N on the Sea Beach Line, and the Q on the Brighton Line. The station is made up of four platforms and eight tracks, two for each line, and all of the tracks and platforms are elevated. The first thing you'll notice after you step out of a train here at Coney Island is that this subway station is like no other. For one, it's very open, and there's this beautiful canopy, this roof, and also all of the tracks are right next to each other. It looks like a railway station. It doesn't really look like the traditional New York City subway station. Of course, if you ignore express and local services, because these are all completely different lines, they go different ways. So as you can see, although every single line that stops here terminates, it is sort of like a through station. There are trains that leave that way, and there's also trains that leave this way. These tracks actually continue further. I'll put up a track map on the screen. So yeah, although it's a through station, the through movement is never used unless they're parking trains in the yard, sort of over there. And that yard is huge, by the way. I'll try to get a shot of it later. So now to go platform by platform, we have the end train here, and that goes that way to the sea beach line through the yard. Over here we have the queue that goes straight forward, and that goes on the upper level towards the aquarium. We have, we have the F train over here, and that also goes straight forward on the lower level towards the aquarium, and then on the culvert line, of course. And then finally, <laughs> We have the D train, which goes that way, That's, this train is terminating here, and that goes on the West End Line. From here we can even see this really nice view of Manhattan, that's really cool. We also have an RTO here, I don't actually know what that stands for, but I think it's where all the drivers and operators and conductors, well, driver operate the same thing. It's where they all have a rake and relax, and maybe there's some offices in here too. About the platforms, I also forgot to mention that there is a, actually a difference in elevation between the Q platforms here on my left and the F platforms here. Because the F platform, the F like goes below the Q, there's like a slight dip and you can see that better on the F platform. So while here on the platform, you can also see some cool terminating station features like a next train screen because it can either be on that platform or this one. And it's really nice these, they're, they're really LCD, you know, like an actual screen. And then also right behind me here, these lights, they turn green and the bell rings when the train is about to depart so that I guess they know when it's time to depart. Ugh, oh, this station is so nice. That was a good ugh, by the way. Now for some quick amenities. Just from here, I can already see a lot of things. There's a bench right there. There's a trash can there. There's a bunch of benches and trash cans. There are departure boards, like I showed you. There are these advertisement screens right behind me here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things. It's very equipped. There are also help points and the station is fully accessible with ramps and elevators. So this ramp, I think, will take me down to the main sort of entrance of Coney Island Station. I've been assuming that Coney Island is more common than saying Steelwell Avenue, but I'm actually not sure. Also, we're going right above some buses here, that's cool. So as we go around the staircase, we're getting to this main concourse level here. We also have some bathrooms here, and it seems like they are accessible. I'm actually curious if they're open or not. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, seems like they are. This looks like a school bathroom, and it smells like pool water, so that's fun. But wow, it's very quiet. This is actually quite nice, you know, for a subway station. So going back to accessibility, three out of the four lines are very easily accessible, you know, up the ramp. But for some reason, they did not build a ramp on tracks one and two, or the D. I don't know exactly why. My best guess is because of space, but this is really loud. So what you have to do if you want to get the D and you need a ramp or an elevator, you have to turn around, go all the way to the end platform at the other end of the station, go up that ramp, walk all the way down, go up an elevator to that overpass, cross the overpass, then go down another elevator to get to your track. That's so much more confusing than any other line. It's strange. So now I'm going to go through a brief and lightly researched history of Coney Island Station. In the 1910s, there were already many railroads to Coney Island, including the Brooklyn Bath and Coney Island, the Manhattan Beach, the Sea Beach, and the Coney Island and Brooklyn Railroads. 
these had gone by different names at different points in time. But the problem is that none of these were connected. They all had their own separate termini in Coney Island because they were competing companies. Although by the 1910s, all of the railroads were already owned by the BRT, the Brooklyn Rapid Transit Company, later becoming the BMT. So it made a lot of sense to build one shared terminus to connect all of their lines because now they weren't competing companies, they could share. So the Brooklyn, Bath, and Coney Island's West End Terminus was already in this location and it was decided that this is where they would build the shared terminus, the bigger one. The Sea Beach Line came first in September of 1917 and by May of 1920, all four lines we know today were connected for the first time. By the 1980s, the station was in very bad shape, but renovations only began in 2001, 20 years too late. The station was under major renovations for three years, causing various closures on each of the lines. The station we see today, including the triple arch canopy above me, was all built in the early 2000s. There are even solar panels on the roof. Although it isn't historic, it's still very grand and much nicer than the old station. See, we can build nice things today, occasionally. I think it's time for me to check out those buses that I mentioned earlier, but for that, I need to leave the station. <laughs> so from the end platform ramp, we can have a little bit of an overhead view. We have some pads here. Here's the actual loop of the bus loop. And then here's one of the stops. Here's the B74 and some other stop over there. So Coney Island Station has two main exits, one on this side towards the beach, and then one on this side towards the buses. We have some maps from the pilot project that they're doing of customer information. These are really good maps. Look at this, this is really cool. You can see the Nathan's Hot Dog, the aquarium here, and also the amusement park. I'm gonna show you guys all of this in a second after the buses. That's where I was, and here is the bus loop. It's very small actually, we have this stop. And then if I cross here, we have the B82 on this side another bus over there, and that would be the B-68. Okay, now it's about time that I actually check out the main reason that people come to Coney Island, the beach and the attractions. I find construction like this really funny. They just like didn't have space here, so they like built an extra platform for these stairs. Oh, so this is why the B, the, sorry, the D platform doesn't have a ramp, because the actual platform is here, and there's no space for a ramp here. Here's the main Coney Island station entrance. It's very nice, I think. There's some nice artwork there on the walls. Uh, there's also a subway here. I think this has been many different things at different points in time. So you can either get a subway, or you can go to the subway, or you can get a subway and go to the subway. It's nice. Ooh, and there's a customer service center now. This is very new. They're adding these at certain stations. I think that's really cool. It's kind of opposite to what a lot of other transit agencies are doing. I feel like most transit agencies in the world are removing service centers and adding machines, whereas MTA is now adding service centers. So that's pretty cool. I, man, it's good to have more jobs. There's also a police headquarters here. So the first thing you'll see is the original Nathan's Hot Dogs place, which, you know, are my favorite hot dogs for obvious reasons. If you turn around here, you can actually see what the station looks like from the outside. And I think it's very nice for a subway station. It even has a lot of BMT branding, which is, of course, like I mentioned, the company that operated the trains here until the MTA took over. I think it even says Coney Island right there. If we keep walking down this street, which I don't actually know what it's called. It's called, oh, Stillwell Avenue. Well, fair enough, you know, it's the name of the station. If we walk down Stillwell Avenue, we'll get to the amusement park. I'm pretty sure it's currently closed because it's not the summer. I think it's only a summertime thing, but we can still go to the beach. Last time I came to Coney Island, it was the worst day in the world. I'm gonna put a little clip of it. It was so foggy. You couldn't see more than like a hundred feet in front of you. It was insane. It was actually really cool though. It's funny walking here in the winter or when the amusement park is not open because it just feels like a ghost town. It's very scary. Oh, look at this go-kart track. This is actually really cool. Also, here's a picture of the map. It's called Luna Park, I guess. I didn't actually know that until now. And yeah, we are, what, here, right? That's the station. There's the Nathan's Hot Dogs. But here's the aquarium station as well. This is actually a really nice stylized depiction of the station, right? You have the little curves, you have the tracks, and going that way as well. It's really cool. This looks like an insane roller coaster. Imagine just circling there. You must get so dizzy. I would not want to ride this. Gotta love the accessibility <laughs> with the stairs to the ramp. And here we are, the Atlantic Ocean. So although this is the Atlantic Ocean, this beach is actually south facing. So that's actually very much southeast, not directly east. But yeah, this is a really nice beach. I can't imagine how crowded it must get in the summer. It must be insane to even try to get a seat here. 
I think it snowed about two days ago and it's really interesting to see like snow and sand mixed. I don't think I've ever actually seen snow and sand mixed. It's a really weird texture. So I think that this view of the beach and the boardwalk marks the end of my video here at Coney Island Stillwell Avenue Station. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and consider subscribing. Hopefully you learned something new. Also, check out some of my other content if you feel so inclined. That's it from me for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!